Stan Jabalisco here to describe for you the theoretical concept behind cascading bandpass filters using opto isolators to completely separate uh, each stage from the next, thereby pre uh, preventing interaction amongst the stages. This shows just one stage in a multi stage circuit comprising an opto-isolator, a broad-banded operational amplifier, if necessary, and it should be emphasized that this is a, has a flat response, not a bandpass response. This is a bandpass uh, operational amplifier that has some gain. Uh, the amount of gain in this particular circuit will determine whether or not you need this one or how much gain this one should have so that the level of the output is the same as the level as of the input. So this whole circuit here is a unity gain circuit that has a bandpass response at the output. And you know what a bandpass response looks like. Something like this. Well, let me start that over. Let me put that down here in the center. It looks like this. Amplitude on the vertical scale, time on the horizontal, time, give me a break, frequency on the horizontal scale. The feebility of your facilitator's brain is grossly apparent. But I'm going to proof watch this video several times to make sure that it's at least accurate in its entirety. There will be a link in the description of this video to practical circuits for band, or band pass response operational amplifier circuits among others, many different operational amplifier circuits complete with component values. I will provide a link in the description of this video to that page. But what you have here is just basically one stage in a multiple stage bandpass filter comprising an opto isolator, a band, a broad banded operational amplifier and a bandpass operational amplifier um, perhaps with some gain so that again the output and the input signals have the same level meaning that the level of the output at the maximum is the same as the level of the the level of the output and input at the maximum are the same so you put a signal into the input here it hits an opto isolator which knocks down the amplitude to a very weak level so it needs some amplification through these circuits here before it gets to the output and you get a bandpass response at the output like that assuming that you have a flat audio input equal amplitudes at all frequencies. The steepness of these skirts is the key these parts of the curves how steep are they? They probably aren't going to be very steep with just one stage here. So I've designed this circuit so you can cascade multiple circuits just like this and get sharper and sharper skirts. Because when you put this at the input, the skirts are going to get sharpened again. And they're going to get steeper so that you end up with a response more like perhaps this. And if that doesn't satisfy you, you can run it through here again and again and again. There's a practical limit, I suppose, to how many times you can do that. But every time you do it, you're going to get a sharper and sharper skirt selectivity because the bandpass response of this identical circuit will be applied to something that's already 
got uh, different amplitudes at different frequencies in the form of a bandpass curve or a bandpass input or output. So you're just going to keep whittling these skirts down until they're steeper and steeper and steeper and if you do it enough times you may be so fortunate as to end up with the envied, coveted, whatever, venerable, rectangular response where the response is flat within a certain range of frequencies, very minimal outside that range, and the transitions or skirts are practically in instantaneous when you put on the horizontal axis frequency and on the vertical a axis amplitude. Not time for crying out loud. That would make this a, an entirely different type of circuit, a digital circuit. These are analog components. So there you have it, uh, straight from the feeble mind of your humble facilitator. You can take it from there, and again, please refer to the link in the description of this video. It's immensely useful as a starting point, complete with component values to get you going. Good luck in your lab. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.